really really feeling this hair i think it's so batch good afternoon darlings and welcome back to another video if you're new here hi hello my name is lisa and welcome if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button for me pretty pretty please we are so close to 50k so welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a vlog style four in one get ready with me i haven't done a get ready with me since the beginning of the year actually and it's literally april i really do enjoy vlog style get readies with me's because it kind of takes you through the whole process and just all of that stuff and i can just you know just be chill and do what i'm doing with you guys i am off to dinner today with um my mate my bestie peace we are going to koya i believe and i've actually never been to koya today is actually bank holiday so we're going for a little bank holiday tipsy dinner so yeah i can't wait much fun we're gonna have a ball we're gonna look good we're gonna look sexy hair makeup fragrance outfit i have a really kind of out there outfit which i don't know if some of you guys are gonna like but i love it so yeah just gone past one o'clock but i don't want to be rushing and i don't want to be late because i told you guys like nowadays i'm committed to being on time and no more than 10 minutes late because anything more than 10 minutes it's a bit rude and it's tacky and it, it's just not cute anymore Lisa. we're gonna start um the uh, get ready with me process by applying a face mask chem beauty pink clay face mask this is one of my favorites i'm probably going to actually have to top up because it's almost finished i went out on saturday i told you guys today it's monday and i wore makeup so i'm just i don't know my skin is just yeah it's just doing a lot right now and i think my period is about to start if it hasn't already started today it just needs help okay so i am applying said face mask you guys know i absolutely love all things chem beauty i also have a discount code lisa10 for money off your order every time you order okay so i'm gonna leave that on make my little lunch and then after i've made lunch i'm gonna wash it off and then we are going to do my hair i'm all showered smelling clean and smelling good um i actually need to like open this window a little bit more because i'm actually not even like mad hot but you know when you're just like moving around it's currently just about to be 3 30 it's 3 26 reservation is for 7 30 it's gonna take me an hour or so to get there so plan to leave for 6 30 so i literally have three hours to do my makeup do my hair show you guys my outfit and leave so yeah i think that is enough time i hope so anyway i'm looking for my eyebrow brush but i can't find it so i'm just gonna use this edge brush i actually need to like kind of like take it down a notch because i'm kind of getting hot and i don't need to be sweaty before i apply my makeup anyways the sun has come out it's actually stopped raining i'm super super happy even though we're gonna be um inside but anyways it's gonna get cold come the evening when we're coming back but i'm gonna take a jacket just in case 
just to hold but we're gonna be inside but no let me take a jacket i want to show you guys the products that i use to you know look good smell good feel good all of that jazz everybody kind of always compliments me saying that i have like soft skin or well, maybe not my face but my body but um yeah let's start with the shower stuff this is not the routine i use all the time i like to kind of like switch it up depending on what i've done a couple days before depending on where i'm going yeah depending on how my body is feeling i like to switch it up first up for my body wash i use the laura mercier almond coconut body wash i love using this when i when i want to pamper myself or when i go out it smells really good it's an almond scent i feel like that layers well with my body chemistry maybe i'm just making stuff up and also the fragrances i use and the rest of the fragrances in the other products that i use so laura mercier body wash absolutely love this will be buying this again then for shower oil i use the lot octane shower oil with almond oil and oh guys when i say this smells so good so they gifted this to me i had the shower oil and i had the body oil oh my god it smells so good i used to mix it with my body cream every single day literally finished it it smells so good it says it's actually cleansing and softening which is really good because not a lot of shower oils are cleansing they're just mostly softening but oh my god it smells so good so these two together make a really nice um combo especially fragrance wise and then for my face today just because i've just been getting really spotty i use the dermalogica daily milk exfoliant when i went to get a facial at dermalogica the lady over there what was her name her, i believe her name was clara she actually messaged me the other day carla her name is carla anyways carla advised me that i need to introduce physical exfoliation into my routine again which i had stopped so hence why i went ahead and used the daily milk exfoliant it's almost like a powder so it's not like really rough and hard on your skin but when you rub it together it lathers up and you can use it as an exfoliator so i use this and then i use the fresh soy face cleanser back to basics because this cleanser has not failed me yet and yeah my skin has just been doing crink and crumb for the past three weeks or a month rather so that was everything that i used in the shower and then when i got out of the shower again we're layering up we're making sure that we smell good feel good but smelling good is most important and that starts with the stuff that you use in the shower on your body not just your fragrance. Garnier Summer Body Moisturizing Sun Kiss Glow Lotion. I actually started using this last year when I went to New York and this is so good. If you want like a really super quick kind of tan, not a proper tan tan, making sure your body is kind of looking flawless and like, you know, one color, this is the cream to use it just kind of gives you a sun kiss glow i have another cream that i use and this is the dove derma spa summer revived with soft shimmer medium to dark skin body lotion however you have to use this at least the day before or two days before if you want the color to show up hence why i used this one today this one is not as dark as this one i went ahead and layered that on top with the Laura Mercier Almond Coconut for Body Cream. Again, sticking with the almond. Really, really, absolutely love this cream. It smells so, so good. I mix that in with my Chem Skin Body Oil. It smells so... Oh, no, seriously, guys. I, I don't know how to describe this to you. Like, it's sweet, but vanilla-y, but almost... Like, oh... I've got some on my lip. I actually got a re-up of this um, when Ken Beauty sent me out um, a few bits. And I was so, so happy. I can't wait to be using this all summer. That is all the stuff that I use on my body. While I'm in the shower, after I've finished showering, there is some other products that I will use just before I put on my clothes, but before I leave the house. Okay, so we're gonna 
get ready to do my hair where did i put that wig oh here it is so this is just a random wig i don't even know what wig this is but i have a lot of wigs just stuffed away i washed the frontal today earlier today so we're just gonna install it and to glue it down obviously we are using none other than my ebon um adhesive spray absolutely love this this is the extreme firm hold supreme apparently they have a glue as well like a lace glue i'm not really usually a lace glue girl anyways mine is almost finished so i need to order a new one anyways but yeah let us glue down this wig so i have finished installing the wig now i'm gonna go in with some dry shampoo because i was able to wash the frontal but not wash and condition the whole wig so i'm using the batiste dry shampoo in lush flirty floral just gonna shake it a little bit dry shampoo is when you're not able to wash your hair basically so So now we are going to curl the hair. So I'm gonna section the hair from the back. So brush the hair out. It's very important to brush the hair out before you curl. So you wanna get those seamless looking curls i kind of don't want the curls to be too tight so i'm gonna get bigger with the curls as we go up with the hair so i'm just gonna wrap it around and i'm using my t3 curling one absolutely love this i need to get the tongue I've been wanting to try that for quite some time, but I haven't actually figured out how to use the tongue. Leave it for about 30 to 40 seconds to make sure the curl, you know, does what it needs to do. It's about 4.30 now, so I'm hoping it takes like just under 30 minutes to like fully do my hair so I can start doing my makeup at Five. I'm just going to put a clip here to hold the curl because I don't have enough rollers and then we're just going to work our way up through the rest of the hair. I did say I wanted some bigger curls so let me do that.
have done my hair and I am ready to get into my makeup. It's literally just gone past five o'clock now. It is 5.03. So I'm going to try and do my makeup in 45 minutes. God willing. For brow gel, I am using the Got To Be Brow and Edges gel. I absolutely love this brow gel. It is on par if not better than my Benefit Brow Gel. And I love my Benefit Brow Gel. This is a lot cheaper. It's Cozy Lives, if you don't want to be buying the um, Benefit Brow Gel all the time. I'd say it's like a straightener for my brows. Like, it literally straightens my brows. Like, my brows stand at attention with this brow gel. Absolutely love it. I'm going to let that dry and set and while I'm letting that dry I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. I need to buy another one of this because this is literally finished. I have, oh my god, is there none left inside? God, there has to be some so i got that desperate i had to cut the packet open because i need my primer okay not the day for my primer to run out a babe had to do what a babe had to do i'm going to be using my benefit browsing Pro palette, absolutely love this. This is another thing that I need to re up on and get another one. I'm gonna be using this light color and this color here. Just gonna fill in my brows very, very lightly. I don't want anything too heavy. Why is there so much noise? going on right now like what the hell there's been no noise all day and when i decide to start filming i'm gonna use this benefit angled brush and i'm gonna brush through the brows just to make sure that there's not too much pigment and they're soft then i'm going to use the other side the angled brush to conceal my brows and make sure they're neat for me the higher the arch the better i think it just frames my face Better. I'm going to use the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and this is in the shade Macau. Is that how you say it? Malco? No, you don't say Malco, you say Macau, right? I think so. I'm just going to take my Morphe foundation brush. Absolutely love this foundation brush. It is a fan favourite. I'm just going to blend that foundation out. I know I've said this before but there's some girls who are like no foundation on your forehead type of girls. I am not that kind of girl, okay? My acne scars and texturized skin will literally not allow me to do that. For concealer, I'm gonna be using two concealers. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, or which you guys know, fan favorite, absolutely love. And I'm gonna be using the KVD Concealer. This is the Good Apple Concealer in medium 1.7. So I'm gonna use Latte as a base and take that up, bring it down the nose. On top of that, I'm going to be using my KVD Good Apple Concealer, and this is to ensure we have a bright under eye, which 
hit dinner of course we want a bright under eye I'm just gonna take some around my mouth here I don't know if that's a good idea or not but I saw Uche do it in one of her base videos so I now do it all the time as well I'm actually just gonna add a little bit more concealer on the top of here just going to drag it down my nose underneath my eyes i'm just going to use the back of my beauty blender and just make sure that is seamless and there's like no harsh line i'm going to be doing a liquid contour which i usually don't do but you know we're going out and i'm going to be using the bare minerals complexion rescue hydrating foundation stick this is in the shade cedar 11 and it's just like a really nice warm brown shade i'm gonna take that down my nose i've been liking my um nose contour like really harsh recently i just love the barbie look i'm gonna take it underneath my chin create the appearance of a chiseled chin and then I'm going to take I don't know what brush this is but it's a refi brush and I'm just going to blend that all out and I'm trying to do it as quickly as I can so my concealer doesn't crease it's 5 34 i don't know how we're doing for time if i'm trying to have my makeup done for 5 45 but i'm going to try my best anyway and I feel like we're almost there. So to set my concealer, I'm going to be using the Ken Beauty Soft Set Setting Powder in the shade Goody. I've been using this for ages now. You guys know how I feel about this. It's just literally the most perfect powder I've ever used. Goody Beauty and this powder, yeah. And I take the um, setting powder, I press it in into my under eyes to make sure that we're actually setting the concealer first rather than just placing some powder on top of it and then I'm gonna go in with my nose and now that we've set it I'm going to just add some powder for color rather than to set might have gone a bit OTT with the setting powder but don't worry everything will blend out seamlessly and now we're gonna move on to eyes I want to do a matte look today so I'm, again I'm just using my setting powder on top of my eyes just to make sure again it's seamless and there's no creasing from that foundation that I put on top of there I was gonna do a cut crease but yeah Cut creases just don't, I don't think cut creases look good on me. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution palette and this is the palette called Prestige and I'm going to go in with these two brown colours here, this one and that one. I might have to add a little bit more of the darker colour just to get a bit more oomph and depth that but let's see how that goes first this is gonna act as a transition color go back in with a fan favorite and this is the two face born this way natural nudes palette and i'm gonna be using the shade truffle and i'm just gonna take that ever so slightly and just 
just take that through my crease back into the makeup revolution palette and i'm using the shade oh it's just called number five it's just this like really creamy light shade and i'm just taking that on my lid like so oh that is perfect I'm doing some eyeliner and I'm using this uh, Makeup Revolution. This is their black eyeliner. What color is it in? There's no color. I think it's just black. But this is like one of the best, I mean best liquid liners I've used. Like the brush is literally the right size. It gives you precision. It's literally so black as well. You don't have to um, like keep on reapplying. I'm going in with mascara and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. This is, okay, again, hands down, one of the best mascaras I've used ever. The first time I used this, I did my face, did my whole face, did my makeup and used this mascara and did I didn't apply any lashes because my lashes looked so long with this mascara. Like if you're looking for a good mascara, if you're a no, no false lash type of babe, yeah, invest in this mascara. Charlotte Tilbury did their thing with this mascara. They absolutely ate with this mascara. It's got such a good wand as well. Blend underneath my eyes that setting powder. And just look how seamless and gorgeous that is. Give me what I need. I'm so proud. And I'm so then to set that nose contour i'm going to be using my juvia's place bronzed palette in the shade tan just gonna drag it down my nose we love well i love a good heavy nose contour i just think it looks so gorgeous like come on barbie let's go barbie just stunning then we are going to try to add some dimension to those cheeks and i'm using my setting powder again in cut 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 <laughs> And then I'm going in with lip liner and I'm using the Morphe lip liner in Trendsetter. So I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, powder in the shade 350 Caramel. I usually buy this from Superdrug, but every Superdrug I've been to, the darkest shade they've done is 220. I've literally been to almost four or five Superdrugs looking for this powder, unless they discontinued this shade, which I don't think they did. This is a really, really good um mac mineralized skin finish Juke. for blush i want pretty pink like baby barbie pink that is the vibe we're going for so i'm using this mac blush in pinch o peach i'm not even sure if they sell this anymore i've had this for ages i love like barbie bright pinks like just absolutely love love it and of course, I'm just going to go OTT with my blush. And I'm just going to drag it up. What I'm going to do is take that just literally right underneath my 
as close to my eyes as I can possibly go. And this is basically that um, TikTok blush trend that everybody's been doing. Is it a TikTok trend? It's just a new makeup trend, just to have your blush as high as possible. And I know I probably look like a crazy person right now, but trust me. It's all gonna look gorgeous. I wanna go OTT with the nose contour, so I'm going back into that Makeup Revolution palette. I'm using the creamy white color that I used on my lid, and I'm just taking a really, really small definition brush, and I'm taking that down my nose. For my lips, I'm going to be using this Makeup Revolution Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade, this is a matte liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Baby. Okay. Morvy Pink. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna go in with another Makeup Revolution Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the, the shade Chauffeur. And this is more of a like nude. I'm just gonna mix those together. And then I'm gonna use my um, Makeup Revolution Pout Bomb Maxi Plump plumping lip gloss this is so good just gonna take it up all over my lips we are going to set my face and of course i'm using a fan favorite the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i think i have enough there i'm gonna take out these rollers and hopefully hopefully god willing this came out correctly i can't even see right now because the my filming lights are so bright i'm gonna add my lashes in a bit don't worry guys Okay. I'm gonna play around with my hair a little bit and then I'm going to put on my clothes. Okay guys, so I hope you guys can see me. Um, I try to do my best with the lighting, but there's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, I've done my hair, I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal LV um, Extraordinary Hair Oil. I'm just gonna run it through my hair, making sure there's no flyaways. And then I'm going to quickly, ever so quickly, put on my outfit. I really hope you guys like this outfit. I saw it on this girl that I follow on Instagram, Sel, Sel Arlene. And I've been wanting to do like a lacy look for the longest time when i saw this look i was like okay this is perfect i have to recreate and i saw this like lace jumpsuit slash bodysuit thing in, in zara wearing these um ego wedges i don't know how you would describe them but these are the shoes I'm wearing and then I'm carrying my Kristen Dior bag. I hope this look comes together guys. I really do. This is the final look. I think it looks good. So I'm going to be using this fragrance. This is the Molecule 01 Patchouli fragrance. and I'm going to be using this as a base and on top of that i'm going to be using 
this perfume that I got in a Farfetch um, gift bag. It's called Fugazi in the scent Sleepover. And this, oh, I'm wasting it. This is a test start. This smells so good, guys. Okay, and let's go. Hi, guys. So, um... Absolutely loving this. Absolutely loving this. Anyways, um, I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, guys. So we're at dinner. I'm with Peace. Hi, hi. How are y'all doing? So we're the men in black today. We went for black rice. And we ordered some cocktails and we ordered our food and we can't wait to get stuck in and have a good time. We ordered some wine as well. So yeah, bank holiday weekend. Even though work is tomorrow, that's okay. Cheers for that. Okay guys, the food just came. I'm a bit tipsy, this wine is getting to me, but I'm gonna get another glass. The food looks so good, we're about to get stuck in. Yes, stuck in Look at P, she looks like she's on the set of Sex in the City. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna have to pay a doctor to get tits like those. One day. One the tip. day Lisa gets boobs is actually. <sighs> anyways, 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 anyways. Outfit. Show me outfit. Show me outfit. Show me. Men in black. No, we for real did men in black. Zara jumpsuit, ASOS skirt, ego shoes, Kristen Dior bag. Ugh, it's giving. Please show them what you're wearing. My dresses from Ego. From I, Ego. I know that Ego do dresses. My shoes are from Renee. My bag is from Zara. Renee Kawavila. Zara. This bag is such a go-to. Yes, from Zara. I use it all Zara the time. Bag. I know. I need something like this for our little holiday. Absolutely fantabulous. Fantabulous. Are those shoes comfortable? Kind of. Yeah. 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 Yeah.